Well, just about everyone is shopping online this year to check off at least a few gifts on their Christmas list. And as we saw last year, that puts a lot of pressure on places like USPS to get everything to everyone in time. News Force Courtney Allen toured one of their local annexes today there at the post office to see how they're turning to new technology to keep up with this demand. It sounds like an interesting look around here, Courtney. Yeah, absolutely. Tracy Marius, the new facility in Laverne was opened back in July to help take pressure off of the other Nashville USPS facilities slammed by online orders amid the pandemic. This new relief location alone expects to process 75,000 packages daily during this peak holiday season. Scan, drive, and draw. That's all it takes now for one postal worker and several robots to sort through 300 packages in one hour, a big uptick from just 25 an hour previously done by hand. And these are just some efforts that we've taken uh, here recently to you know, keep up with our competitors, uh, you know, Amazon and FedEx, UPS. Between all the new equipment at the new Nashville Parcel Support Annex in Laverne that opened this summer, the facility can process tens of thousands of packages a day. It's one of 40 annexes throughout the country that was opened in response to last year's tidal wave of online orders amid the pandemic, aimed to alleviate traffic at their main Nashville facility near the airport. But I can tell you that our building was gridlocked as far as mail being able to move just because of sheer volume. While last year set records, they're expecting another 10% increase here this year equaling more than 14 million packages coming through Nashville. With the increase in volume, uh, we brought in this facility and three additional machines, so we are able to process that 10% that growth. In just a few weeks, they say this empty room will be full of packages for the holidays, increasing daily hours of operation from 10 to 20 the Monday after Thanksgiving. While the annex is just on a two-year lease, USPS thinks changing consumer habits might mean it'll be needed for the long haul. We believe that online shopping is here to stay. Now, some challenges here are, of course, the supply chain issues. For example, if a part on this new equipment goes out, it can be hard to get another in enough time. They say they've stocked up on parts because of this plus staffing. They're currently looking for 200 seasonal workers starting at 1851 an hour. And if they can't fill those spots, that means they'll start working overtime to make sure everyone gets presents under the tree. Back to you. Well, it's nice to see the modernization. Courtney, thank you very much.